Blessings, my little sisters and brothers in faith. In today's gospel, we're going to hear Jesus talk about pitfalls, things that misguide us and cause us to stumble and fall. So let's start by invoking the Holy Spirit, who lives in each of us. Come, Holy Spirit, open our hearts and minds to the Word of God and to understand what Jesus wants to say to us through this gospel. We will be reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verse 39 to 45. But if you're following along in your Sunday Missal, it's going to be on page 213. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? A disciple is not above the teacher, but everyone who is fully qualified will be like their teacher. Why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye, but you do not notice the log in your own eye? Or how can you say to your neighbor, friend, let me take out the speck in your eye, when you yourself do not see the log in your own eye? When you, your, um, you hypocrite, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your neighbor's eye. No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit, for each tree is known by its own fruit. Figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes picked from bramble bush. Out of the good treasure of the heart, the good person produces good, and out of the evil treasures, the evil person produces evil. For it, it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In this Gospel, Jesus, in different little parables, talks of ways that we can be misguided, and he teaches us how to watch out for these pitfalls and to correct them. Jesus wants us to open our eyes and our hearts to see what is good, right, and just, and to avoid the things that will not be so good for us. Now imagine a blind person walking down a busy street, possibly bumping into things that they don't see, maybe falling off a curb, or worse yet, getting hit by a car. Now imagine that you are blindfolded and you are following this blind person. The same thing will happen to you. Jesus tells us to be aware of these things that misguide us. One is not to focus on what other people are doing wrong, but instead to focus on what we ourselves are doing. And the other is to look at the fruits, meaning, is the final result good or bad? Now imagine a food you don't like. Let's say a sour candy. And if you put that sour candy into your mouth with a sweet candy that you do like, it won't make it so that the sour candy is better. It will make it so that you don't enjoy your sweet candy as much. So when we get mixed in with bad group of people, say ones who don't believe in being good or doing good, by following God's laws or his commandments and to love one another, we can easily be misguided and fall into the wrong ways. Jesus is the best guide to follow. We can always trust his ways. And to do that, we must know his word. And that is through the Holy Bible. So now as we are about to start the Lenten season on Wednesday, I encourage you, in fact, I challenge you to instead of uh, giving up chocolate or sweets, take up something new. Do something that gets you to know Jesus and to follow him more. Find some time every day to spend with him. It can be a couple minutes in prayer or just talking to Jesus as you would any friend. Tell him what, you, uh, what made you sad, what made you happy, what made you frustrated that day. Or you could do it in little notes Take a, write a little journal and every day write a little note to Jesus. Or if reading is your thing, get out your prayer book or your Bible and read every day. Or you can do a random read. So you can close your eyes 
and open the book or the Bible to a page and then with your finger just point to a spot and then choose that to read. And this way you will get to know Jesus a little bit and reflect on what he wants to say to you in that little read. So God loves us very much and he created us to be good and to bear good fruit. So we need to stay close to him and attach ourselves to the good tree, which is God. Let us use this Lenten season to grow spiritually and to grow closer to God. God bless and we hope to see you here next week at SMDY Kids Corner. Bye.